Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, thanks for clicking on the video and watching. I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was going to finish drinking my coffee and then maybe run to another Dollar Tree just to see what they have because I went, today is Monday, July 19th and I went on the 16th to 1 and they didn't really have much so one of my favorite cups it says hello honey so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I this is a repeat buy right here crinkle crinkle <coughs> I got a couple of bags of the farmhouse naturals um, six simply six limited ingredients for buddy my cocker spaniel that has allergies um, he's actually doing better um, he takes spells where we kind of worry about him, but he's actually doing pretty good. So I got like three more bags of that and that's just kind of, it supplements in between his really expensive food that we have to get him and it's still something that he can eat that doesn't have allergies to. I guess like most of us, when we get older, we develop more allergies. Here I am crinkling packages again. Um, I got these Trolley Sour Bright Blasts. I don't think we've tried these. We've tried a lot of candy, but I don't think we've tried these. So I just got one just to try it out. Then I think this might be a repeat purchase um, for my husband. Um, the Sour Punch Strawberry Strolls. So yum. And then I picked this up and I seen people hauling it and I was like, eh, do I want to? I have all kinds of plastic containers already. I do use them though. And I have been, if they're used quite a bit and they're not in so good shape anymore, I have been going ahead and getting rid of them. So I thought, um, this is says vegetable and dip container with a lid so I thought I would try this one out and I seen where someone had hauled it and on their video they showed that this little plastic piece in here didn't come out which is great because I'd probably lose it you know what I mean there's I have plenty of those that the little containers are lost or the little lid to the containers lost so I was like okay so if that doesn't come out then all I really have to maintain <laughs> is the little lid on the inside so yeah, I thought I'd give that a try. I'll just start taking some fresh veggies to work and that being said, I found the shaker bottles. Now I have a shaker bottle that I've had for quite a while. It's got the metal shaker in it and I just want to, like this one has the little plastic shaker which is just as good as metal. So, and I was going to see, yes, it says top rack dishwasher safe, BPA free, um, ounce and milliliter markers. So you can tell like how much you're getting or whatever. So I did get a clear one and a black one in case my husband maybe wanted to use one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have one of those Nutra bullet things. I don't utilize it as much as I should because I don't have the counter space to keep it out. So I have to drag it out, clean it up, put it up. So I really need to configure some more things. Anyways, I got one of these little, it's a plastic jar with just a little lid. And um, I have one of these right now in the kitchen and it holds them little plastic clips that I use for chip clips that you get from the Dollar Tree. So I just got another one. I got this one and it's a cla glass jar with a plastic lid. So I thought that was kind of cool. So you can put something, something else in it kitchen wise. And then I picked up some of this party plasticware. I guess we'll call it that. Party plasticware. This is water glasses and there's five of them in here. And I thought it was cute how it has the little 
little stand on it. I thought that was really cute. So um, if I don't use it for a party, then I can maybe use it for a DIY or something. Then I picked up this six piece mini round bowls. And these are little plastic bowls as well. I thought these were adorable. Um, like if you wanted to, I don't know if you're outside and like my grandkids want ranch or barbecue to dip with and you really don't want your dishes dishes to go outside then I thought maybe I'd something like this or a party I don't know because it does show like I don't know some sort of little dessert in there but you could also fill it up oh I'm thinking now you can also fill it up with like little um, black olives or green olives like if you're gonna do uh, a salad or whatever and have everybody put their own toppings on I don't know I don't know and then I got these same same consideration there for the little salad or the little dips or whatever but mini wavy plates and there's 12 and I thought this was adorable it's kind of what they look like hors d'oeuvres hors d'oeuvres that's what I was gonna say then I also picked up this decorative cake plate so also with the concept of parties or DIY so you can do this little cake plate riser or whatever or, I don't know I don't know oh and then I picked up four a four pack of these um, round it says foil pans with lids seven inches you're lucky if you find any of these in our area um, I thought this would be good to like take with us to the family reunion I'm gonna start picking up a few of these so if people if there's extra food and people want to take it home it's an easy way to pack it up and just take it instead of sending your dishes <laughs> which sometimes don't Okay. Now these I found in like where the cell phone cases are and plugins for cell phones. And this is a Tech Essential wipe and type screen cloth. And there's 25 count. So I thought I'd put that near my laptop because sometimes it gets dusty and dirty or fingerprints on it. And I want to wipe it, but what I usually end up doing is trying to wipe it with my t-shirt or whatever shirt that I'm wearing. So I thought, you know, just set this somewhere near the laptop and do it the right way. <laughs> okay, I got this to try. I don't know if my husband's going to or how he's going to install it, but I thought I would give him a chance to install it so he can quit with my hair issues. I'm losing my hair. I am a grandma and thin headed and gray hair runs in our family. So does naturally curly hair. So it's still there. It's just, you know, so I thought I would give this a try. Um, and this is how it's supposed to work. So I don't know. We'll see. It might save a drain, <laughs> save a clean out of a drain. I don't know. Alrighty. Oh, I picked up another one of these, and the reason why I did this is because most of the rest of the ones that I have, um, I broke one, and then my other one I think is a Brillo brand, and it's red, and I have it in the kitchen, and then I have another, I think red one that's plain like this. It's not Brillo. That's um, these in the bathroom to use for scrubbing on the shower and stuff. But um, since I had already broke one, I thought I'd pick up another one just to have on hand. And I found teal. <laughs> so I hadn't seen the teal yet. The teal or green or whatever color it is. And this is something my husband picked up. The super glue quick epoxy clear. I don't know. 
I'll set that out because I don't know if he maybe had a project that he needed that for. And, oh, here. He also picked this up, which was a sharpening stone. So probably he did have a project in mind. I picked this up to scoop Buddy's food out of our container because my husband has one of those little, I think it's a half cup measuring cup thing that came with the container, but the handle to it is like this long and it's a half cup, which is great. I mean, it measures out things perfectly, but I don't like touching dog food. It's greasy. Have you ever noticed that if you touch it? So if you scoop that thing down in there, undoubtedly you're gonna get greasy hands. So I thought if I'll put this in there, then I can just stick this up and then I don't have to touch the dog food. Because most of the time, nine times out of 10, if his bowl's empty and I need to feed him, then I'll grab for these so I don't have to dig down in that big dog food thing. So that's just how I roll. Then I purchased a bunch of repurchases of these and I got four of them. I could not find the one with charcoal in there, which is, you know, okay. I mean, it helps with odor, but this moisture eliminator, this stuff really works. I mean, I put it out in my shed because there's a lot of moisture in there, especially in the summertime. Um, and in the winter time when it's cold and I, then I turn on the heat and then stuff, you know, you know. So anyways, um, what you do is you open, open the top, take the top off, take off this little silver thing, put your top back on and set it wherever you need it. And then whenever it draws moisture out of the way, air, it comes in the form of water, of course. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, but it's pretty cool if you've never used this and it starts filling up here. And once it gets up a certain amount, then I will, and all these little moisture beads will disappear, believe it or not, and I'll chuck it and put on a new one. Long story short. <laughs> oh my. Okay. And then, it must have been in the tool bench section for a while there and the what do you call it home goods maybe um i found this four piece mini scraper i'm pretty sure it was me that picked this up just try to scrape off some areas on our new project that we got for our hutch thing so then I picked up two packs of this removable pitcher strips, and there's four pairs in each pack, and it's supposed to hold up to five pounds. So, the ones that I had before, I don't remember how many poundage it held up, but I have like a, a board that says Grandma's Kitchen on it that I had on the outside of one of my cabinets, and I had some strips on it like this, but it wasn't these and it kept falling off recently. So I've got it off. So I wanted to find some stronger um, adhesive to, to try to put it up there. I mean, I don't really want to put a nail in the cabinet door and these, these things should work. I'm hoping, cross my fingers because when that thing falls off in the middle of the night, it scares the duty out of you. Then I picked up and I know I said, I was gonna do things differently, but this stuff was already set in here. Then I picked up some uh, stuff that I'll probably use for DIY projects and replace one in our bathroom is what it was intended for, but I did pick up four of them. Um, and this is this frosted window film. That's 11.8 by 47.2 inches. get one piece in there and that's what it kind of looks like I do have like curtains in the bathroom but sometimes you know if the curtains move or whatever and we do live unfortunately in town and so yeah but I did pick up for them while they had them so at least I'll have a little bit of a oops sorry project going then I picked this up and just to have in my little toolbox. I don't know if I picked one of these up before or not, 
but it's a little baby crowbar. I don't know what I would need it for in my toolbox, but I, I wanted it because I didn't have one in my toolbox, you guys. So that's going to go in the toolbox, which is out in my shed for some reason. I don't know. I had it in the house, but then I started needing it more in the shed. I did pick up another one of these Brillo Basics drain openers. We've been having some drain issues lately. And as a matter of fact, the city came um, in our neighborhood recently several times and was flushing stuff. So that's probably why we have an issue. It's because it's not our issue. It's the city issue. So, sip of coffee. Another basket down. Hello, boy. I don't know which one to start with. Ooh. Sometimes I get so excited. Okay. I picked up, this is a repurchase, too, of these um, Scrub Buddies. It's a 10-pack scouring pads. These don't last long when you actually go to start using them. But, you know, if you can get 10 for a dollar, it's 10 cents a piece. So, yeah. Cleaning and scrubbing, good deal. And I like to put those underneath my sink. Um, but the extras, the overflow goes into the utility room. I picked up two big packages of napkins. Um, I love the colors. It reminds me of fall colors, which is coming up shortly, which is one of my favorite times of the year also. They're just called party napkins, and they're a 36 count. So I thought that was pretty good for a dollar, especially colored pretty napkins which I like putting out even in the kitchen. I have Christmas napkins <laughs> in the kitchen right now. Um, then I picked up one pack. I've seen several of these, but I just picked up one. Women's 5 to 9 Juncture No Slip Socks. And this says, start somewhere. They're yellow. Not cute. No one's kid sockies thought that was really cute. I'm going to try them out around the house and then if this is something that actually works for non-skid I might buy a few extra pairs you know um, for Christmas for the residents at work. For those of you that don't know I am a registered nurse and I work in a long-term care facility and I have been for about 19 years now. So with that being said moving on. Uh, okay. I got one of these Kind Rewards No Hide Bones for Buddy and it's made with real peanut butter. I gave him one to try it out. This I'm going to toss. Um, he really liked it. He ate it really well, but I noticed the following day he was getting sick. So either he's allergic or it's just not something that you should feed a dog. So I'm going to chuck it in the trash right here. I'm not going to take a chance on that. Um, okay. This little trees in a can, new car smell. Ta da! The only thing about this is I thought you couldn't really like put like aerosol type cans in your vehicle because you don't want it to get too hot. But this is where you would use it, right? In your vehicle. It's made in the USA. Um, container may explode if heated. Uh huh. Uh, do not expose to heat or store at temperature above 120. So I wouldn't keep this in my vehicle. Like if you're cleaning your vehicle, maybe spray it around. But I wouldn't keep it in the vehicle for safety purposes. But yeah, new car smell. My Jeep is far from new. And so is everything that we own. But we can make it smell like it's new. Oh, I found some more of these, so I picked up some more. Got six more. This quick survive lights anywhere fast charcoal, barbecue grill, fire pit, wood burning stove, or survival pack. So um, it's supposed to burn for up to 10 minutes and over 750 degrees. 30 year shelf life, 100% waterproof, and food safe. So I wanted to pick up more of that. Not that I'm a prepper, but I kind of, I mean, you know, you kind of got to be nowadays. So, yeah. Got that. 
Then I wanted to try this LA's Totally Awesome All Purpose Cleaner. It's cleaner and degreaser and spot remover. It's called Cherry Blossom. I haven't tried this one yet. I've got the daily shower and the bathroom cleaner one, but I haven't tried this Cherry Blossom. Okay, it smells like a cleaner. Which I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. So yeah, I just, I've seen people hauling it too, and I was like, well, that's the one that I haven't picked up, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. And we'll see. We'll see. I'm all the time trying new cleaning stuff. And going with that, this is the first time I've seen this, you guys. I was pretty excited to see it because I like cleaning with vinegar too. Fabuloso with vinegar. Seriously? And it's an apple scent. I'm going to smell it. What's it gonna hurt? Oh my gosh. Wow, you guys. Maybe just a hint of vinegar, not too much, but you smell the apple. Oh my gosh. I should have got more than one of these. So whenever I go out and about, hopefully they have some more. Um, this is a 16.9 fluid ounce, 500 milliliter. So yeah, this smells good. I don't know if you guys seen it. This smells really good. Okay, just a couple more things and then I'll get off of here. I think this video is running a little long, but okay. I did get one of these citrus squeezers from the Cooking Concepts. I've seen them there. I really haven't. I mean, I thought about picking them up before, but I was like, oh, you know, let's add it to my kitchen gadgets. What would it hurt? I want to squeeze a lemon instead of you know squeezing it like if you're cooking instead of cutting it and squeezing it over your hand so you catch the seeds and just let it run out okay that's what they make them gadgets for then i picked this up from cooking concepts and this is a metal strainer so you can reach down in there and strain some stuff i don't know another kitchen gadget and then I picked this up too. I have one of these bowls. Um, I bought several and given them away at Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. But I, the one I have is white. And I picked up a teal one. I think at the time they had like purple and some other colors. It was really pretty. But this kind of matches everything. And I like how it has the non-skid. So whenever you're... It kind of sticks to the counter. It's a top rack dishwasher safe bowl don't forget that top rack so anyways um thank you all so much for clicking on this video and watching it if you would please give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel if you haven't think about subscribing and once you do make sure you hit the bell and i'll tell you whenever i upload a video i'm gonna get ready and go to a dollar tree and check some stuff out hope you guys are having an amazing monday please stay safe take care of yourself and i'll catch you later